morning DPS. This is Preeta Kiran Anshin with you. I'm a nutritionist and I'll be a support to the school nutrition program. It's a great initiative, one of its kind, taken by DPS Sharjah, thanks to Ms. Vandana and the management of the school to get your children into a healthier lifestyle. Feel the Food program is an initiative that has been designed by uh, the DPS to address different categories of uh, students. It would be individual counselling, one-on-one -one basis, taking into account the parameters like their heights, weights, BMIs and their history. Medical history would also be one of the parameters that would be closely monitored while giving lifestyle changes and diet plans to particular cases. There will be a lot of other workshops and activities, seminars that would be conducted for the students as well as parents. A lot more of uh, initiatives like the canteen menu getting changed, healthy options, color coding for foods, um, uh, how fit are you drive, all of these are planned throughout the year to help the children understand and get more awareness about the lifestyle. When we talk about healthy lifestyle, there are certain principles that have been uh, instilled in us right from our school days, which is what we need to reflect and the children learn from the parents. I would request everyone to start off with the most important component of food, which is water. Please make sure that you drink enough water every day to replenish all the losses that happens due to different factors it's summer here, this part of the world, we need water constantly to keep replenishing our water loss in our body. The first and foremost lifestyle change that I want each one of us to do is to start your day with at least three to four glasses of water to cleanse your system, to regulate your temperature, to clear the toxins out of your body and yes, of course, to make sure that all the other bodily functions are Done with these. The second point that I would want to stress on is to get into something which is going to help you feel good that is your meditation and your exercise. Very important to choose one of the activities that you want to do as a part of your daily regime. That should be something that you love to do that is something that will utilize all the different parts of your body, make you more active. Please make sure that you try and at least squeeze in two or three days in a week where you walk barefooted, either on the grass, in the park or do some games that you would enjoy doing. Thirdly, we will go into the focus of nutrition. Make sure that we have healthier choices. Visit salad bars with your family. Try having nutritious options. Not necessary that every weekend should be a, a lunch or a dinner in a food court. It can be planned as a family dinner where some of the family members are contributing or rather all of the family members are contributing to the process of preparing a meal together. The kind of impact that technology has on today's children with regards to uh, healthy eating can be um, seen in two different angles. One, they can probably download uh, certain applications that might help them um, try and gauge their fitness levels, try and calculate their calories, how many steps they take in a day, what kind of uh, calorie burning they do, etc. Which can be, with a parental guidance, lead to a good outcome. There's another aspect where technology can also harm children where they get obsessed with these kinds of applications and they uh, rather skip their meals, try and uh, overdo their exercises uh, without professional help 
only depending on the application that shows and reflects what has been already fed in the software. So we'll have to make sure that as parents we try and support them and understand the importance of technology in using these kinds of softwares. Another point that I want to stress on is please, please understand your emotional eating issues. Address it. Don't ever try and start munching on something or solacing yourself with food. That will do more harm to you than feeling good for that particular moment. It's very momentary that you feel good with a packet of chips or chocolates in hand. Make sure that you try and understand what your emotional weakness is. Don't make food a support system to overcome depression or any other negative thoughts that you have. Go for more of healthier choices like brown carbs versus white carbs. Eat small different meals. Say no to oily food. Try and improve your personality. Go ahead and improve your posture, the way you stand, how good you feel about yourself. I want every one of us to understand and address emotional eating. Make sure that you don't make food something that will help you as a support system when you are depressed or you are facing any kind of anxiety in your life. Understand trigger foods, try and avoid them. Go for more of healthier options. Stop eating when you feel full. Try and understand the difference between brown carbs and white carbs. There are a lot of informations that are available. Make sure that you take professional support. Even when you know what has to be done, everybody is different. And we would want you to definitely make sure that you take advantage of the availability of a nutritionist with you on this platform. The upcoming generation is more into eating junk food. I believe that it's definitely what you expose them to is what they are going to be learning. We as parents should make sure that we stand as an example for them to make better choices. Let us take the initiative where we reflect healthy living and eating nutritious food at home front as well as when you go outside. Lots of informative educational tips are available where we can individually or as a group address the students of DPS to make these choices. Let us stand as an example to help them make a better living. It is definitely our responsibility to do so and I am more than happy to help anyone who wants my support professionally.